Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again for Stoga Clock, and today we're looking at a special cigar. This is the Padron 1926 Serie Number no. 90 Maduro. Uh, it was made to celebrate Jose Padron's 90th birthday, in addition to his 90th birthday cigar. They did come out with a special cigar for his birthday party that they released in Miami, 200 boxes of 10. I did also review that cigar, very good smoke. I don't know if this is the same blend. Definitely a different size though. This is the Robusto Extra. It's a 5.5 by 52, and as you might notice, this is not a box pet box press Padron, um, kind of a diversion from what they typically do. It is a Nicaraguan Puro, meaning all the leaves in this are Nicaraguan tobacco, and it retails for $19.50, uh, which is pretty high, and I actually paid just under $25 for mine at a local spot, so that's kind of tough to swallow, but I uh, did want to get another one of these for review. I have had one, and without ruining this review, <laughs> positive things. <laughs> so... You might be uh, seeing this on a certain list uh, by the time I publish this review for my uh, top cigars of uh, 2016. So anyways, I guess I kind of did ruin my review then. But hey, you know what? Maybe this one will suck. Maybe it'll be dog shit. Who knows? <laughs> uh, consistency is key. So we will see uh, if it does stand up to what I have experienced previously. Anyways, on the uh, on the wrapper here, kind of a like a muddy chocolate, I'd say, on the wrapper uh, aroma. Out of the foot, very, very, very potent hay smell. Hay, and I'd say more kind of like dirt. I'd say a little bit of a barnyard, but more kind of just hay than necessarily like manure. So, <laughs> anyways, without further ado, we will cut this bad boy up, we'll light them, and we'll smoke them. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, too, this is the first tube padron. Came in this nice fancy tube here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of tubos. Uh, I guess it is convenient if you're going to take them somewhere, a little protection, but that's what my travel cases are for. So other than that, they just take up more room than they should in the humidor. So <laughs> already smelled the wrapper. What am I doing? Long day. On the cold draw. I just say kind of like a an airy chocolate, not a whole lot to it, so we'll go ahead and light this bad boy up. One thing I should note right away, this draw is very, very open. Um, the cigar is, is somewhat firm and very bumpy, so I, I kind of expected it to be a little bit more snug, but I, and I didn't clip off a whole hell of a lot on the top there, but On the first light, big bomb of cinnamon, a little bit of leather coming through there, and, and a black pepper for sure. Through the nose, man, I hope this cigar continues like this, <laughs> and I did notice this on the last one, but uh, uh, there's, this, there's this Padron creaminess that I love. It's in a lot of their Maduro blends uh, in their anniversary lines, and it's like this. There's this rich, bold flavor profile plus a nice, creamy undertone, and that's what I'm getting through that retro hail. Very, very good flavors through the nose. A little bit of sweetness to it as well. body I would say is up there getting going here on the finish that cinnamon from the draw comes through I'd say more of a pepper I don't know if I can necessarily identify this as black pepper kind of a mix between white and black pepper actually and that's about it on the finish there so I'll keep smoking on this and I'll come back to you guys here in a little bit after the first third with my thoughts see you in a while And we're back with this Padron 1926 Serie number 90 Maduro. About 35 minutes in here, uh, one thing to, to note, smoke output has decreased quite a bit since I first lit this thing up. Uh, hopefully that improves. On the draw, I picked up a lot of plum flavor with a little bit of a vegetal earth and then a nice sweet powdered sugar. Through the nose, there's some creamy cocoa with sweet coffee and toast. 
And then on the finish, I pick up a bold cinnamon with like a damp oak flavor and a little bit of leather in there as well. Both strength and the body settled in here at the medium to full mark, and the burn's been pretty good. So, so far so good, and we'll move on here to the second third, and I'll get back to you guys here in a bit. And we're back with this Padron number 90. About an hour in here, as you can see, smoke output is back to normal, so that's a good thing. On the draw, picked up more of that vegetal earth with a little bit of black pepper and a slight sweetness to uh, that profile. Then through the nose, there's some creamy toast that just dominates the retro, and there's like an underlying white chocolate, very nice flavor there. On the finish, I pick up more cinnamon and leather with a little bit of a salty cedar flavor. Very, very good mix of flavors here. And strength and the body are still at the medium to full mark, and we're chugging along. So I'll keep smoking on it and come back to you guys with my final thoughts. See you in a bit. And we're back with the number 90. But now we're in 40 minutes in here. More vegetal earth on the draw alongside a big cocoa bomb and some black pepper. Through the nose, there's more of that Padron creaminess that I described as well as some cocoa, a little bit of a sweet toast, very nice flavor there. Through the nose, there's dried fruit, kind of reminiscent of prune, a little bit of rich leather, and then some more cinnamon. Strength in the body, finished out here at the medium to full mark, very consistent throughout. Uh, overall, I would say that this number 90 is an excellent smoke, very, very good flavors on this thing. Construction is great, even though it looks like a rough cigar, still burns okay. Um, no problem there at all. Draw was a little bit loose for my liking, uh, but no complaints, I guess. It's uh, still, still smoked well. Uh, so overall, I would say that this thing's awesome and definitely recommend it. It is a little bit pricey, so that's kind of rough, um, but very, very good smoke. Uh, did want to give a big shout out to Rudy's Shop in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's my favorite local spot and the best place in Fort Wayne, Indiana and uh, the Midwest to get cigars and then craft beer and wine from Indiana, as well as some very darn good chocolates. So they do have an online shop now. Check out the uh, description for the link for that if you guys are interested. Um, they've got some great cigars in there, including one that I know you guys are all looking for, which is the Fable Fourth Prime. So be sure to hit that up. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, check out irobusto.com. And until next time, you guys keep it smoky, and I'll catch you later. See ya.